All right, I'm about to blow your minds. When you hear the name Thomas Edison, you usually think of the light bulb, electricity, or audio recording. But Edison's patent on a puncturing pen has turned him into the titan of taps and the Earl of Ink. So what is this place? So this was Edison's office for Menlo Park. And this is where he did a lot of his administrative work. And what did he write with? <laughs> one of the things that he wrote with is an electric pen. The electric pen was actually one of the first experiments at Menlo Park in 1876, and it was also their first product. The electric pen was separate from the copy press. Once the pen made the holes, the paper was placed on a metal plate in the press. The paper would be inked, and then a roller would be used to press the ink through the holes to make a copy of the original onto another sheet of paper. Edison's electric pen wasn't a big seller, so he licensed his patent to Albert Blake Dick, who used the stencil idea to create his own flatbed duplicator box, which he called the mimeograph. It didn't take long to mechanize it, and the mimeograph became the standard office copying machine well into the 20th century.